For private real estate investments, one of the valuation approach is the income approach. Okay, and under that we have the direct capitalization approach and we have the uh, discounted cash flow method. Now, of course, uh, under the DCF method, one of the case is the appraisal with a terminal value. In other words, you will have a case where the, for the first few years you have a rental, fixed rental, and after that the rental will increase uh, after a certain year and then there will be a constant growth rate. So for example, let's say for one of the property you own, the net operating income is expected to be level, which means a fix at 200000 per year for the next three years. So starting in year four, however, the NOI is expected to increase to 250000 So if you draw the timeline here for the first, uh, you have time zero, one, two, and three. So the, for the first three years, the rental will be 200000 Okay, and then from year four onwards, Okay, the rental will be 250000 and then uh, after that, it will grow at a rate of 3%. So every year after, it will be a growth of 3%. So that will include year 6 as well, okay, and so on and so forth. So if it's, if it's going to grow at this rate, then of course, uh, we can calculate the perpetuity value using the direct cap method. So in this case, uh, the property value is also expected to increase at 3% per year after year 3. Okay, and you require a 14% uh, return. So you require a 14% return, and this is your R here, 14%, and expect to hold the property for three years, okay, up to this point here. So estimate the current value of the property at time zero. So all we need to do is we need to find the PV of these cash flows. Okay, so this goes on to perpetuity. Okay, perpetuity. So first off, uh, I'm going to discount this cash flow here. Starting from 250,000, I'm going to discount it back to year 3 using the direct cap method. So the direct cap method for V3 will be the NOI in year 4 divided by the cap rate. Okay, so the NOI in year 4 will be 250,000. Okay, divided by the cap rate which is given as uh, R minus G. So this is R minus G and our R here is 14% and the growth rate is 3%. So that's 11% there. So if you calculate that, that's uh, 250,000 divide by 0 0.11 so that's a uh, 2.2 million okay or 2.27 million so that so that's equals to 2 million 272,727 okay and this amount will be at year 3 after that we need to discount all this back uh, at 14% return okay so we have the terminal value here at v3 so now the cash flow worksheet so in the cash flow starting from C01, which is year one here, we have 200,000, right? And uh, the frequency is two here up to year two. And then for CO3, which I'll put in CO2 here, that'll be 200,000, okay? Plus the terminal value, which is 2272727, then enter. So we have all the cash flows now, okay? 200,000 for two years and then 2.447 million. And then uh, MPV, you press I equals to 14, and then scroll down, compute MPV. So this is the value of your property. Okay, there's about 1.998 million there. Okay, so this is the property, the value of the property.